Hello everyone, so in this video I'm going to talk to you guys about two of the most interesting Python Easter eggs uh, out there. I say the most interesting because they're the only ones I know of, there might be others, I don't know. Also, I only know that these work in 2.7 to like 3.4 or something. Uh, that's because before 2.7 came out, I was not even 12, so I had no idea what Python was. And they have free reign to change this in the future. Uh, but, I mean, they're not critical things to functionality at all because they're just, like, hidden ha-has in the code. So this may not work for you if you're watching this in, like, 2020 or something like that. Anyways, the first thing I'm going to talk to you guys about is the future module and the and importing braces. So, bracing for the future. This is something that is in Python and I think is one of the funniest parts of Python because it kind of gives you a thing to laugh about when it comes to future changes in Python. So we're going to say from future, which is actually preceded by two underscores, double underscores, also known as dunder, whatever you want to call them, two underscores, future, two underscores, and then we want to import braces. So import braces. Now this is supposed to give us something that braces us for future changes in the module and will help us in the future. Now if you import this, you'll get an error message and it says syntax error. Not a chance, because there's no way they would ever be able to brace you for future changes in Python as it's an entire programming language which is open source and is just insane on the inside. So not a chance for you bracing for the future. Side note, the future module, this thing, the Dunder future thing, actually has value in Python. And if you run dir on it, you'll see that it has some interesting things in it. Now, including print function. The future module actually holds things that are being kind of changed in the future, or being planned to be changed in the future, and has some functionality that isn't normally used by people. Uh, feel free to read more documentation on it, because I don't fully understand this module, but uh, maybe you'll have some reason to use it. Now, to kind of talk about these two underscores again, the double underscores, the dunder, these two underscores are usually used in prefix and suffix of module names to represent that it's a module that is used usually internally. So you won't see future, or you won't see these, dunder, these double underscores uh, like that surround future used in many things except for stuff that is used deep inside of Python. You shouldn't normally see people importing these things because they're usually not needed. Now, you'll also see these like double underscore name in future, these actually are in all kinds of programs. So if you say like print name in some things, obviously not this because it's an interpreter, you'll you will actually get a name for whatever it is that you're running, which is pretty interesting. And again, you can read more information on what that is later on. You can also use the help function, which will tell you more about the object that you pass it and give you help on it. Now, that's the most interesting thing I have to show you. The second is my favorite, probably not as interesting or informational, but still pretty cool. And that is the anti-gravity module of Python. So if you go to import anti-gravity, you will see this XKCD uh, window pop up in your web browser. And it's a fun little script that the geeks at XA or XKCD made about Python. You're flying. How? And he says, Python. And he said, I learned it last night. Everything's so simple. Hello world is just print hello world. And he's like, I don't know. Dynamic typing, white space, which if you know if statements in Python, you use white space. And it's actually something that bothers a lot of people and kind of stops them from using Python. Then he says, oh, come join us. Programming's fun. It's a whole new world up here. And he says, okay, well, cool, but how are you flying? I just typed import anti-gravity. He says, that's it? I also sampled everything in the medicine cabinet for comparison, but I think this is the Python. 